Welcome to Cooking with Titans. My name is Jessica Rowland and I am the Program Specialist for Cal State Fullerton's Alumni Engagement. I'm really excited to be here today with my beautiful niece Peyton. Um, we are going to be cooking a family tradition of a German chocolate cake for everyone today. So Peyton, who we hope will be a future Titan soon, you're in what grade? Seventh. Seventh grade. How are you liking it? Good. Good. Wow. Mm -hmm. We are super excited. Um, again, we're going to make a German chocolate cake. We're going to start with our frosting because that needs to sit for a little bit in the fridge. We got all the ingredients here ready to go um, and we're just going to start. So first what you want to do is mix in the egg yolks. You want to get those in. This is just the egg yolks. We're going to do some vanilla. Do you want to measure it out? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you measure out the vanilla for us? We're going to need one and a half teaspoons. All right, and then we're also going to get in there um, our condensed milk. So we have a can of that that we're just going to pour in as well. How we're coming along with the vanilla. Got okay. it? Perfect. Oops, put it over there. Going to need a whisk. If you don't have a whisk, a fork works as well. <laughs> you got this. You're fine. And one more. Perfect. And you're just gonna whisk, whisk, whisk. And um, I was kind of show the camera here what I mean is just get it all together. Um, keep going until it's all well blended together. Careful, there are some splashes that are gonna happen. <laughs> Once it's all blended really well together, what you're gonna add in mix is our sugar. So we're gonna dump that in nicely, perfect. It's gonna get very thick. And then you're also gonna to wanna to dump in um, our butter that we have. So we're gonna undo this butter right here, get it in the saucepan, and then we're gonna add it to the heat. Perfect. Drop it. Woof, got it. Got that one coming? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Again, once you get all the ingredients in here, you're gonna take your whole saucepan and put it on the stove for medium heat for about 12 minutes to get it all blended together. We'll come right back once that's there. So again, while this is cooking and warming up for about 12 minutes until it's about golden brown, and I'll show you what it looks like, it's gonna be great. Um, Peyton, why don't you tell them what else we need to get done? So I measured out one, one half cups of pecans and I used my fine chopper and chopped them all up. <laughs> What's the finished product look like? Ah, perfect. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so the sauce has been on the stove for about 12 minutes right now. And as you can see, it's a really nice golden color. You can take it off at that time. Don't forget to turn your stove off. Um, and then you're gonna just, while it's cooling down, you're gonna mix in the other ingredients. You're gonna put in those chopped nuts. There we go. And the sauce, before you put in the not, uh, whoa, the nuts, <laughs> what you should do is make sure that the sauce itself is kind of a thicker, a little bit um, of a creamier substance. And that's how you also know it's done, um, as well as the color of the golden brown. So we got our nuts in. We're going to dump that coconut in here. Perfect. Oh, it smells so good. smell o vision's not here yet, but if it was, you'd be very happy right now because it smells amazing. How's that looking, Peyton? Really good. Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. As you guys can see, it's looking great right now. We got some great flavor, I'm sure, but the smell, the texture, the thickness, it's looking great right now. What you're going to do is put this in, let it continue cooling. If you're in a hurry, you can put it in the fridge to let it cool or the freezer if needed, um, but let it cool down definitely by itself just for a bit before doing any of that. Okay. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, we are now going to go start on the cake portion of the German chocolate cake. Uh, so we're gonna uh, go ahead and um, we are using a special kind of chocolate. You can buy this at any market and such, it's Baker's. Uh, but you wanna take your chocolate, you're gonna break it up and put it into a microwave safe bowl. Um, there we are, those are the Titan muscles we're looking for. Perfect. Uh, once you get that in there, you're also going to go ahead and add the butter to the bowl. Oop, pop that in. And then you're going to put the bowl into the microwave for about two minutes until the chocolate's pretty melted in there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and throw that in there into the microwave. All right, so again, once you get the uh, chocolate and butter fully melted, you're going to go ahead and add the sugar in. Dump the sugar. Perfect. What we're also gonna do is switch over to the blender beaters. So um, once you get that sugar in, you're gonna switch over, make sure those are on low. You got that, Peyton? Yep. Perfect. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and start in the sugar and the chocolate butter mix. Then the, what you're also gonna do is go ahead and dump in the eggs one at a time. Once I get these going in there, why don't you turn that up one spot okay. speed, okay? So just dump in one egg at a time. Go ahead and split that up all together pretty well. Perfect, get it mixed in. Once that's mixed in, you're gonna go ahead and again, dump in the second of your eggs, stirring all the way. Make sure it gets mixed in. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Good. Peyton's wearing her homecoming shirt from Homecoming 2019. It was a really fun event out on uh, Lot D, if you know that or Dumbo Downs, but we don't call that anymore. <laughs> Thank you, we'll get that mixed in. Once you get the eggs all in, you're gonna go ahead and add the vanilla. Let me reach around this. And we needed a teaspoon of that. Oops. All right, keep mixing it. Dump in that vanilla, go ahead and keep stirring. Now at this point with your flour, you're gonna go ahead and only in a half a cup of flour. So put that into your mixer, keep stirring it up. Then you're gonna go ahead and have your salt and your baking soda, you're gonna add that up. Now you're just gonna keep stirring. Stir, stir, stir until it's really well mixed together. Make sure you get the edges. You can go up one more in the speed as well just to kind of get that mixture aspect of it. How's that feel? Really good. Good, do we need a spatula or are we okay? Yeah, let's get a spatula. Spatula, why don't you keep stirring and I'll get the spatula. Perfect, do you want me to do it? Yeah. Okay. Got it, perfect. And again, you just wanna make sure you get the edges of your bowl. That way you can go ahead and make sure you get everything mixed in nice and well. Why oh, you wanna take over again? Yeah. Perfect. Put that here. Once it's all mixed in, you're gonna go ahead and add in the uh, rest of the flour and then you're gonna add in your buttermilk well. So I'm gonna dump the flour in here, make it not too hard on Peyton. Go ahead and stir it in there, adding a little bit of buttermilk at the same time. And you wanna do these in like little steps. So add a little flour, add a little buttermilk, stir, 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 until you get to the final process. So just keep adding, keep stirring. How are your muscles doing? Yay. You're good, okay. Now add a little bit more flour to you. Perfect, add some more of the buttermilk. Great. As you can see, the um, texture of the cake is really coming along with the chocolate. It has a nice look and um, smell to it. I wish again you guys could smell right now. It smells great. Go ahead and get the rest of that flour in for you. And the rest of that buttercream. Perfect. We're gonna go ahead and, ooh, but I need to talk. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and continue stirring. Uh, maybe go up one more speed on that Peyton. And we're just gonna go, go, go until it's really all together. So once you are done mixing on all your ingredients for the cake, as you can see, it has this really kind of fluffy, airy texture to it, which I really love. You're gonna um, get your pans together. We kind of did a cool little trick on stacking the pans so it gets your parchment paper um, into the grooves of your round baking pan that you're doing. Um, you're just gonna dump them, eat, dump them. You're gonna put the baking stuff into the, each pot uh, or pan evenly. Get that one going. So good. Um, I have the pan out. What you're supposed to do is also spray the edges of the pan still. Um, I obviously missed that step, so I'm probably going to regret it later when I clean. Uh, but that's one thing you definitely want to do. So don't miss that step for the cleaning process, folks. Once you get all of your cake batter into your two dishes evenly, Let's see, I have one more scoop in there, probably, even it out. Perfect. All right, so once your pans and pots are ready to go, you're gonna go ahead and take them and put it in your oven, which is at 350. You put it on the same rack, just right there in the middle of the oven for you. And it's gonna cook for about 30 minutes, maybe a little longer until you can put a toothpick in the middle of your cake and it comes out dry. That's how I check my cakes. If you have another way, please let me know. All right, guys, so the oven just went off, so what we're going to do is go ahead and pull the cakes out. Oh, these look really good. As you can see, they look really nice. What you're going to do is let them cook or cook. Sit in the pan for another 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, then you're going to transfer them over to a wire rack to continue cooking. 
All right, guys, now that our cakes are officially cooled down and ready to go, what we're gonna do is frost it. Um, as you know, part of German chocolate cake is that yummy layer in the middle of the cake that adds the extra frosting flavor, which is good. One of the tricks that we do to kind of make it flat, easy, and have the cake stick together is flip your cake upside down. So you're gonna take one of your halves, flip it upside down on your plate so you have a flat surface here. And then, you wanna do the honors, Peyton? Yeah. We're gonna start frosting. So you're gonna go ahead and make sure you cover this middle layer heavily with frosting. You want a nice thick layer of it on there. You're gonna get all on there and then we're gonna put this cake on top, okay? Okay guys, so once you have a nice thick layer, you're gonna wanna add more than you think onto this. It may look kind of thin, uh, but this is a really thick layer of the yummy frosting. Uh, we did put the frosting in the free, uh, fridge <laughs> just to keep it cooler. Uh, it's easier to spread as well. So once you have a big thick layer here, what you're gonna do with clean hands, I promise, you're gonna take your other cake, lay it just on top so the two bottoms fit. Press it down gently just to kind of get the two sides to connect. Don't squish it by any means. Just press it down quite gently. And then the next part, cover the cake completely with the icing. As long as you don't eat all the icing first, but go ahead and just cover the entire cake, sides, tops, all of it with the icing. I'll be right back with the finished look. All right guys, so after you've added the frosting to the entire cake on all sides, as you can see, your German chocolate cake is ready to go and ready to eat. We hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for joining us on this Cookie with Titans. And we look forward to seeing you at all of our amazing events. To check out some of the fun things we have coming up, go ahead and go to alumni.fullerton.edu. That is our webpage. It lists all the great events. You can get membership information. And as always, you can always email us at any time. Thank you so much, you guys. Good job, Peyton. Thank you.